Did you know that Michigan has 43 species of freshwater mussels? Mussels are unique animals that have an essential role in aquatic ecosystems. Freshwater mussels are one of the most critically imperiled groups of organisms in the world. In North America, 65% of the remaining 300 species are vulnerable to extinction. Mussels are bivalves. They consist of two hard outer shells, soft tissues, mantles, open circulatory system, and a digestive system. Mussels use their foot to move around in the substrate. Freshwater mussels have unique life cycles. Male mussels release sperm into the water and the egg is fertilized once it reaches a female. Female mussels brood the eggs in a specialized area in the gills called marsupia. Then, larval mussels, called glochidia, are released into the water until they attach to the gills of a host fish. The glochidia grow on the gills for a few weeks and then drop off and continue to grow on the substrate. Glochidia are parasitic, but they do not harm the host fish. To attract a host fish, an adult mussel can use different luring techniques. Some do this by using mantles that resemble prey. This is an example of a freshwater mussel displaying their mantle. Mussels provide ecosystem services and are considered ecosystem engineers. Mussels filter nutrients in the water, and since they are highly sensitive to pollutions, they are indicators of water quality. They help stabilize substrate or rivers and are food for other organisms such as raccoons and muskrats. Their shells can provide habitat for other organisms such as macroinvertebrates. Michigan has four federally endangered mussels, the club shell, snuff box, northern riffle shell, and raid bean. These are all under protection by the Endangered Species Act and are regulated by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The club shell is a small to medium sized mussel that can grow up to three inches long. Their exterior is yellow to brown with bright green blotchy rays. Their habitat is loose sand and gravel in medium to small rivers and streams. The snuffbox mussel is a small to medium sized mussel that can grow up to 2.8 inches. They have yellow, green, or brown shell interrupted with green rays, blotches, or chevron shaped lines. They are found in small to medium sized creeks with a swift current. Northern riffle shell is a small to medium sized mussel that can grow to 3 inches long. Its shell exterior is brownish yellow to yellowish green with fine green rays. Raid bean are small sized mussels. They are less than 1.5 inches long and their shell is smooth textured. The shell is green, yellow green, or brown with numerous dark green wavy lines. They prefer to live in small headwater creeks. There are many threats to freshwater mussels. Dams affect both upstream and downstream mussel populations by disrupting natural river flow patterns, scouring river bottoms, and changing water temperatures. Because mussels tend to stay in one place, they are easily harmed by toxins and poor water quality caused by pollutions. Pollutions can come from accidental spills, factory discharges, and more. Poor land use practices, dredging, impoundments, intensive timber harvesting, and heavy recreational use can accelerate erosion and increase sedimentation. Sediment can blanket a river bottom and suffocate mussels. Non-native species such as zebra mussels and round goby are serious threats to freshwater mussels. Zebra mussels use up food resources and attach to native mussels in such large numbers the native mussel cannot eat or breathe. Round gobies can displace native host fish, reducing the ability of mussels to reproduce. Michigan's four federally listed endangered mussels are protected under the Endangered Species Act. The Endangered Species Act provides protection against practices that kill or harm the species and requires planning for recovery and conservation actions. You can help freshwater mussels by learning more about how the destruction of habitat leads to the loss of endangered and threatened species. You can help improve water quality locally in streams by minimizing the use of lawn care chemicals and properly disposing of or recycling hazardous materials found in your home, such as batteries, paint, car oil, and pesticides. 
When boating, please follow any rules established to prevent the spread of exotic pests like the zebra mussels. And lastly, join conservation groups or volunteer at a local nature center, zoo, or wildlife refuge. Thank you for watching. We hope that you'll think about these amazing animals the next time you visit a river or a stream.